this hopefully will be the last update on the generator backup for our solar system. So we're putting one amp into the battery bank and the 24 volt generator is handling it perfectly, putting in just the amount because the batteries are full. So the, the power is going straight through to the house, the exact amount that the house is using, which is a good sign. So I'll take you down and show you hopefully the last modification to the generator. I thought this would be a good test. My wife came home and from work and said she needed to do laundry. And rather than running the big diesel generator, we're testing really light loads on a DC generator rather than the AC diesel. I'll take you in there and show you. I'll explain that. The engine is turning at 2400. It's a 2 to 1 ratio, so the alternator is spinning at 3400. 1000 RPMs higher. And it's putting out 20 amps. And this gives me another way of putting power directly in the batteries without running the larger diesel generator. When we run the diesel, although it is more fuel efficient, I'm guessing, it has to run the inverter charger to charge the batteries and then it'll pass through 30 amps straight to the house and I just didn't need all that power. So I was looking for an alternative way of putting power directly into the batteries. It's a Harbor Freight motor, it was $99.99. .99. It's a Honda design, it's an overhead cam. They're supposed to be really good motors. At that price you can't really go wrong. The 2.2 flathead Honda simply was not able to produce more than about 20 amps max and that was loaded real heavy. Now this one's just sitting at part throttle and not working hard at all. I ran it this way the other day and I was two hours at between 15 and 20 amps and the tank is only 0.9 gallons and it used a third of that for a two hour run. We're at 20 amps now, so it'll be a little bit more than that. Uh, but that's not too bad. It's putting power directly in the batteries and I'm not having to put the wear and tear on the very expensive diesel. And I'll let you know when I get some more hours on it and uh, I'll post exactly how many amp hours I'm able to produce for how many gallons of gas. What this does is it saves uh, energy because when you're running an AC generator, the AC generator has to put power into your inverter charger. Then your inverter charger converts it back to DC and then charges the batteries while it's passing through power to the house. When you're inverting it from AC to DC and then back again, there is an efficiency loss in the inversion. When you're spinning an AC, uh, alternator, a DC alternator, you don't have the efficiency loss that you have by using the inverter charger. And that's good. Hopefully that equates to less fuel. I wanted another way to do this besides diesel. And we also have a propane alternator, a whole house propane alternator uh, generator, uh, an AC. Uh, one's a 5K. In fact, the other one's a 6500. It's a 6.5K and one of them's a 5K. 
So we have several different ways to uh, bulk our batteries. And the idea is to not get trapped into one type of fuel. The next step is to find a diesel, and I've seen several that will actually work on vegetable oil. I don't mean biodiesel, I mean coconut oil, vegetable oil, baby oil. Uh, the Lister will actually run on a mixture of used motor oil and old gasoline. So not knowing what's ahead, thought I would try to have as many different avenues to generate power as possible. And for $99 we were able to uh, go this track going straight DC into the batteries. I hope this helps somebody. Have a very blessed evening.